Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like my teaching and my efforts, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates. In this video, I want to discuss about half subtractive. First, let me define what is half subtractive. Then I will discuss the truth table for the half subtractor and then I will design a combinational circuit for the half subtractor. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. So first let me define what is the half subtractor. It is a combinational circuit to perform subtraction of two single bit binary numbers. This is very important point. Okay, it can perform only two single bit binary numbers. Now let's take that we have two binary numbers which are A and B and they are four bit binary numbers. So we'll have A0, A1, A2 and A3. Similarly we will have B0, B1, B2, B3. Now if I perform the subtraction between A0 and B0, I will get the difference and also I will get the borrow. Then again I will perform the difference between borrow A1 and B1. Again I will get the difference and the borrow. Okay, this is the way we will perform. But using the half subtractor, we can perform the difference between two single bit binder numbers. But using the full subtractor, we can perform the difference between three bits. Is it clear? Using the half subtractor, we can do only difference between two single bit numbers. Using full subtractor, we can do perform subtraction of three single bit numbers. Full subtractor, I will discuss in the next video. So let me discuss about the half subtractor. Okay. So now I want to construct the combinational circuit for the half subtractor. Now how I have to do, what are the steps involved? First, I need to identify the input and also the output. Can anyone tell me what are the inputs here? A and B are the inputs and you will get the output as difference and the borrow. Okay, let me write it as BO. Okay, and then what is the next step I have to do? I have to find the truth table for it. Okay. So first let me find the truth table for it. So what are the inputs we have identified? A and B are the two inputs and the output is difference and then borrow let me write it as BO. Okay. So we have two inputs and two outputs are there. Now can anyone tell me if we have two inputs and they are binary numbers, how many combinations can be possible? Four combinations can be possible such as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Let me find the corresponding output for each input. 0 and 0. If I perform the 0 minus 1, 0, we will get the difference as 0 and the borrow is also 0. Are you able to understand? Now 0 minus 1, the difference will be 1 and the borrow is also 1. 1 and 0, the difference is 1, borrow is 0. Difference between 1 and 1 is 0 and the borrow is also 0. So we got the truth table for the half subtractor. Now let me find the expressions for it. Okay, Boolean expression. How can I get the Boolean expressions for this one? I have to, these are the two functions are there, D and borrow. Now let me find the Boolean expression for the difference. How can I get it? With the help of K map. Okay, so can anyone tell me how many cells will be there in the K map of the function D? Two inputs are there A and B. So we will have four cells. Am I right or wrong? A and B are the inputs. Then we will have 2 power 2 which is four cells are possible. This is 0, 1, 0, 1. Am I right or wrong? Okay. Now take it. Wherever this function is producing the output as 1, those we will call it as a min terms. Wherever the function is producing the output, they all be called as a max terms. 
Now in the K map, we can have to have the min terms and we can minimize or we can take the max term also and can we can minimize. So let me take the min terms. What are the min terms? 0 and 1. Meaning is that 0, 1 here we will represent. Then 1, 0, 1, 0. Now if you see that whether these two ones are adjacent or not, maybe you may think that they are adjacent because they are diagonal but they are not adjacent. How to check whether they are adjacent or not? Take the position which is 1, 0. Okay. And this position is in 0, 1. Now check we, how many different single bit difference are there? This is 1 and 0. This is 1 difference. And again 0, 1. 2 difference are there. If we have a single bit difference, then only we can say that they are adjacent. But here we got the 2 bit difference are there. So I can say that they are not adjacent. If they are not adjacent, what I can do? I cannot join them or group them to minimize the number of laterals. So I will consider each one as a unique one. Okay. If I consider them each one as a unique one, what is this expression will give? A and then B complement. Will you agree with me or not? Similarly, this is A complement B. Am I right? Can I write this one as A exclusive or B? Am I right or wrong? I can write this one as A exclusive or B. Now let me take the K map for the borrow. Only one min term is there. So I can write the borrow as A complement B. So this is for the borrow and this is for the difference. Now can I construct the combinational circuit or not? Let me construct the combinational circuit for the half subtracted. Okay. Now how many inputs are there? Two inputs are there. They are A and B. Now, A exclusive R, B we got. Am I right? So, exclusive R gate we can draw and this will give me the difference. And the next one is A complement. So, I have the input A. I will perform the not. And I have the B. I will perform the difference between these two. Will give me the borrow. Okay. Are you able to understand? So, this is the combinational circuit for the half subtractor. So I hope you have understood what is a half subtractor, what is its truth table and what is its combinational circuit. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.